Hey, this video is to explain how to test out your if you're having problems starting your ski and you want to find out if the start stop switch is the problem. You want to find out if your solenoid is your problem, or you want to find out if your starter is the problem. Um, so if you have a voltmeter, you set it to continuity. So when you have it on continuity, you touch the two leads and your voltmeter should go to about zero and you should also hear it beep. So I'm gonna show the stop circuit. I'm gonna put the probe here on this ski, the white and the black is the stop. Now right now, it's not beeping. I have the lanyard on there. If I hit the stop button, it beeps. Also, if I pull the lanyard, it beeps. So all it's doing is that button with the lanyard pulled or when you push, it's just completing the circuit. It makes a connection inside of there. So the next thing you could test is the start button. Same thing, you put your lead on one wire, put your lead on the other wire, it's beeping. Now make sure this button isn't pushed in, it's kind of a safety, keep kids from coming up and touching your jet ski and taking off or something like that. So this is out. You hit start and if you're trying to add this lanyard or this start stop to a different e-box this is how you figure out okay in this case the red with the white stripe yellow with the red stripe that's the start circuit a lot of them the black and the white for the stop circuit so now that we've got that figured out I'm gonna hook up the start wires in this case, we're just trying to demonstrate. So when it's working properly, uh, when I hit the start, it should bring the positive voltage, comes through this big wire, comes to this post, it's coming up this red wire, comes up here into this, goes back down, and the yellow wire goes to the other side of the solenoid. So when I complete that circuit, a magnet slides up, takes the positive voltage because this has already got it's got twelve volts here. My meter is gonna work here. Let's see here. There it goes. So we've got twelve volts here. Should have 12 volts going up, and so when you hit that start button, you should have 12 volts or whatever the battery is at least 12 volts coming back. So, our start button's good, our battery's good. So, now if I hit the start button, the starter should spin. So, the starter is working. Now another way to test it without even having a voltmeter, you can unhook these two wires from the solenoid and when you touch them together, your starter's gonna go. So now you know your battery's good, your starter's good. If these two wires touch together, the two wires that are not the black wire that goes to a ground, you touch those together and it starts, then you know the issue was on here. So check your continuity. You can open these up, check the contacts. All it is is there's somewhere in there there's going to be two pieces of metal touching. Um, if you have a, a ski like a 650SX that doesn't have the lanyard, you can buy from people off of a uh, TS, the Tandem Sport, the 750SS, some of the 900s. There's just two screws and you can swap this face put out. Now you've got a lanyard so your ski isn't just going in a circle when you fall off. You attach this to your wrist, your life jacket. When you fall off, that stops the ski. So if you uh, let's see here. If you jump, if you jump the post and your starter goes, then you know your battery's good and your starter is good and if you touch these together and it didn't go, then you know your solenoid is the problem. 
Um, inside of the solenoid, all it is, is you have these two copper contacts, and when you're hitting that start button, it's sending 12 volts through this coil in here, and there's a, a little rod, a magnet, you got a spring. Now sometimes these get all rusted, or sometimes the copper gets all rusted and corroded. You get moisture inside your e-box. You want to make sure it's good and sealed up. There's a reason there's a gasket or rubber o-ring so you don't get moisture in there. But uh, it's pretty common for these to get rusted and corroded. So when you hit that start button and gets 12 volts going through there, this comes down, this moves. I'm not sure which way it's going up or down. I think it comes down, makes a contact, completes the circuit so that you're getting 12 volts from one side of the battery post to the other side of the battery post. You could also, if you want to test your starter, and you just, uh, sometimes it helps if you pull the spark plugs out, make sure you can turn your engine over by hand, the engine isn't seized, the pump isn't seized. You can unhook the, the positive that goes directly to the starter. You touch that to the battery, that's going to tell you your battery's good, your starter's good, and it's turning over your engine. Um, you can take these apart. If you have a, uh, a soldering iron, you can undo the contacts, remove these two screws, take it apart, clean out this post, clean out these contacts, put it back together, solder it back together, and then you have a solenoid that should work. So, easiest way though is to open your e-box if you want to test your solenoid, touch these wires together, should make your, your starter work.